Happy in Forgiveness. This is from Psalm 32, verses 1 through 6. How blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. How blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. When I kept silent about my sin, my body wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me, my vitality was drained away as with the fever heat of summer. I acknowledge my sin to you, and my iniquity I did not hide. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let everyone who is godly pray to you in a time when you may be found. Surely in a flood of great waters they will not reach him. A believer in Jesus Christ knows that he or she is forgiven of their sins. We know that because we have put our lives in the hands of our Lord and Savior. We believe, we know and understand that we have been forgiven because Jesus paid the price for our sins on the cross. This is our faith. This is what we believe. David writes in Psalm 32, Verses 1 through 6, the joy, the happiness in forgiveness. God wants to forgive sins. In fact, the sinner is blessed when his sin is forgiven. When the blood of Christ covers the sins of the sinner, that is true happiness found in forgiveness. Once we receive Christ as Lord of our life, we and we put our trust in him to forgive us of our sins. This is the blessedness we find in forgiveness. That God has, has forgiven us of sin. Now think about it. Before we were believers, there were countless times and opportunities to sin and commit sin. We probably did not even give it a second thought about lying, cheating, stealing, and so on. This is the nature of man, to sin. That was your old self, your old life. Now you are a believer in Christ. Now your sins are covered. It is covered by the sacrificial blood of Christ. Your old life has been thrown away. It has put, been put aside. Now you are a new creation, a new creature in the eyes of God. What happens when we do not confess our sins? God knows every aspect of every human being, believer and unbeliever. David says that in keeping silent about sin, my body wastes away. He groans. We all groan because of unconfessed sin. God's hand is on the believer to confess their sin. When we do not confess our sin to God, we lose our strength. We lose our vitality. However, when we confess our sin, when rec we recognize we have sin and tell it to God, He forgives us. Hiding sin does not help us because God sees the sin you have committed. Nothing is hidden from him because all things about you are an open book. Prayer is the tool the believer needs to use, confessing our sins and asking for forgiveness. Unconfessed sin weighs heavy on the believer. That is why we need to ask God to forgive the sin. It brings us even closer to God because remember, he wants to have a relationship with us. Sin blocks that relationship from growing and building to where God can work in our lives. Sin is the barrier to a much fuller and better life in Christ. 
The believer finds joy and has joy because he or she is forgiven of transgressions. We are forgiven because God wants to forgive us. We must not hold back our confessions of sin. To do that only leads to anxiety, frustrations, and a loss of vitality and energy. Sin keeps us away from having the relationship with God that He wants with His children. Sin is the barrier blocking us from a more fuller and enjoyable life in the Lord. So, believer, be happy. Have joy in God's forgiveness. Praise our God that He freely forgives us of our sins. This is true joy. This is true happiness. Father, as we see in your word, you want to forgive us of our sins. You want to have a more closer relationship with your children. But sin keeps us away from having that relationship. It blocks us from knowing you more. All of us have that sinful nature. We are born with it. But when we receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of our life, we throw aside the old self, the old life, and come into the new life found in you. We want to be forgiven of sins, and we ask, Lord, that we are when we, when we confess and tell you of our sins. It doesn't mean that believers do not sin, because we sin, maybe on a daily basis. What we need to do is recognize that we have sinned and confess that sin to you. We must not hold it back or keep it to ourselves. You already know us. You see the sin. You see our hearts. And so we pray, Lord, that you open our eyes, open our minds, our, and our very self to you, Lord, that we will recognize that we have sinned before you and confess that sin to you, asking for forgiveness. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.